Channel 3 Early Warning Weather. Moving forward as we get later into the work week, the big story becomes the potential for some record warmth, and we are officially forecasting record warmth on Friday. Hartford area's record 91 degrees, we're forecasting 92. Bridgeport record 88 degrees, we're forecasting 86. So close to the shoreline, but we are expecting it inland. And this is also significant because today, May 31st, no 90s. Uh, especially for the Hartford area, which means we will end up with zero 90 degree days for our tally so far this year for the month of May. Of course, we had two last month, and it looks like we could begin June with two more on tap as well, and we will see how the rest of the summer treats us after that. 71 right now in Hartford, 77 in Albany. Away from the shorelines, it's a bit uh, warmer. 82 in Syracuse, New York right now, 81 in Burlington, 68 in Boston. We are expecting temperatures to keep on climbing for the rest of the day here, topping out in the 80s inland 70s at the shoreline with plenty of sunshine and perhaps just a bit of haze. Dew points are a little bit higher at this point in time. I'm mostly running in the 40s and that's still very comfortable, very dry rather. Even 50s is still pleasant. But as we get closer to the end of the work week, we could see dew points try to climb just a little bit higher as we get especially into Friday afternoon. Early warning pinpoint Doppler, Connecticut's only live Doppler radar is scanning. Just nothing to show here. We are dry across Connecticut. Here's a live look right now on our iCam and Windsor Locks in the distance a bit of wildfire smoke, very minor impacts to air quality. If you're sensitive to this sort of thing, you may notice a bit of a burning smell, especially across northern parts of the state. 73 degrees right now, though, uh, at Bradley International. Here's a live look at I can Middletown. Looks like less of a smoke uh, signature here. Certainly a lot more blue in the skies, too. If you're not dealing with the haze from smoke, it is gorgeous outside. We've got high pressure and control, and that high pressure stays established through tomorrow. We start to really pump the heat in tomorrow, and then by Friday, we will see our highest temperatures of the week out ahead of a cold front. And this right here is going to have a big role in how the forecast evolves from there. At this point in time, with developing northeast winds and the potential for some showers on Saturday, that actually could help to knock the pollen counts down just a bit. Here's the backdoor front that moves through. As it does so, we develop northeasterly winds on Saturday, keeping temperatures only in the 60s, a drastic change from the 80s and 90s that we will see on Friday. Today, of course, warmer than yesterday, too, with inland temperatures in the lower half of the 80s along the shoreline in the 70s. Mostly sunny skies, very pleasant outside, not as cool tonight. A bit of patchy fog develops with temperatures running mostly in the 50s. We are expecting the clear skies to continue. But by tomorrow, 91 inland. Uh, at the shoreline, we will likely see temperatures right around 82 degrees. Notice overnight temperatures will be back in the 60s as well. Friday, increasing clouds, especially in the evening, perhaps a shower later evening, 92 inland, which would be the record, 86 at the shoreline before we see showers develop for Saturday morning. A cool day breezy temperatures only in the 60s we start to recover and next week we're expecting a mix of clouds and sun as we get into the start of next week so roger certainly some record warmth possible to end off this week before a drastic change heading into the weekend all right we'll get those sunglasses ready for the next few days mike thanks